Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and I want to wish you all a very happy Mother's Day. It doesn't matter if we've given birth to children or if we have little furry pets that we care for. We are all mothers because mother not only is a noun, it's an adjective. And the adjective, it's, I think it's to care for and to protect. So all of us in this that are watching today, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. Today I'm going to do a quick update on the area that I included using the derma roller on. I think that was the end of October. I want to tell you how I assess if a skincare product is working for me. I want to announce the winner of my last giveaway and that was a $125 gift. And I'm going to change that up for the better for the winner. And since it's Mother's Day, you might want to hang around because there just may be something special. Almost five years ago, I started using the Derma Roller on my lips, and that's all I used it for was my lips. And I did it to maintain or increase the fullness of my lips and also the lines around my lips. I hadn't really been bothered with them yet, but I really wanted to make sure that I was a little bit proactive because lipstick is my very favorite thing to wear and I just wanted as much real estate to put my lipstick on as as I could get. Going on three years ago I included my nasal labial folds, my marionette lines and I think that was it and that's going on three years ago. Over two years ago I started derma rolling just the top of my head because my hair was getting thinner and it has been very helpful for that. Over a year ago, I included the tails of my eyebrows because I wanted to get them back and I did. And six months ago, I started on this area around here, the little bunny line and the two 11s right here and here. And I don't have any pictures to show you. I tried to find something so I could compare, but they have improved. Not a huge improvement, but they have improved, but it's only been six months. And I tell you, I'm very patient, even though I'm 66, I'm very patient with my skincare. Before I talk about my, my routine that I do on my forehead, if you have any skin conditions, any acne, or if you're prone to fever blisters, I wouldn't attempt derma rolling. I would talk to my physician, my dermatologist, I'm just talking to you like a consumer, just anybody who is trying something that wants to keep their skin in the best condition that they possibly can. You know, I usually refer to it as derma rolling, it's microblading, it's collagen induction therapy, and they're basically the same thing, only this is what I do at home. And I will link any videos below if you want more information, and I'll try to put a card above so you can click on that or just go to the information below if you want any more information. But I just want to make this as brief as possible. First Sunday of the month, I use a 0.5 millimeter derma rolling. The rest of the Sundays, I do a 0.25. I could do the 0.25 more often, but I just want to keep it to Sundays and it takes me. I, I, last time I did it, which was a week ago, uh, it took me four minutes to do it. So I am willing to do four minutes to try to help my skin look as good as it possibly can. I have never used anything to numb my skin. I don't find it painful at all, but you really have to be take care of your derma roller. And this is a derma roller of mine. And not, I don't have any makeup on. I have on mascara, navy eyeliner, my upper waterline, and lipstick. I haven't even done my skincare yet today. But I just want to show you, I've had people ask how I hold, hold my derma roller. And this isn't right or wrong. It's just what works for me. I put this part in my hand and my finger right there. And then I'll go like this. I want to have a little bit of control and I'm not pressing in very far. I'll do an area right here. I haven't started doing that yet, but it just makes little tiny, tiny channels. And I do this in the afternoon and I don't put makeup on until the next day. Also, I've been asked so many times, how often do I replace my derma roller? 
when it starts to feel differently. You have to really protect the little needles. And I'm going to put a picture here of real needles and what I call discs. I used the discs needles for, oh, probably two years. And once I found the real needles, I do like them better. When I place it in the holder, I'm very careful not to touch the sides. I just drop it in there after I've cleaned it and I clean the container and then I let mine dry for several hours and I put the top on it and I store it. I really think if you didn't do anything else, you would see the results of the collagen and the last end building. But what I do, I just use the Matrixel 3000, uh, probably about, I put it all over my face and a few hours later, I still use the Kakai Naturals Kakai oil and I use a total of three drops. I put it, that includes my neck because I use it, I only use this on my face once a week and that's on Sunday, but I use it on my neck every other night. But I don't think those things, I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm not willing to give them up, but I have a feeling that it would work without it. I had purchased one of those manual derma stamps and I didn't like it I, and I threw it away and I was sorry I did because I was going to show it to you. They're about this big in diameter. And what you do, you just stamp your face with it. Well, what I've chosen to do when I do my work on my bunny line, I go like this, move it and go in. And I have had good results. If you want a more, and I'm gonna say the word aggressive, but I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm just kind of muddling through. I'm just adding things as I need to, which isn't very often. But I'm just wanting to do the least amount possible and get the best results I can. I'm going to put a link to Penn Smith Skincare. She has, she talks, she speaks a lot about the pens that you charge that go in and out. I think you get really good results with those. But for right now, I am just happy with what I'm doing. But Penn is a master esthetician and she really knows what she's talking about. But so far, I've had that question, am I going to get one of those pens? And I don't think so. But you never know. And who knows? One of these days, I may, I may start derm using the, the derma roller on my other areas of my face. But for right now, I'm just staying in this area right here. I buy my derma rollers from Skin Diva. Uh, I like them. They're very affordable. And I have found them on Amazon. But I like the 192 stainless steel needle. Uh, that are actually real needles. I've had quite a few questions recently about the 20% Argaroline. I think that's how you say it. I have only tried the one from Skin Diva, and I'll tell you why. It's 20% Argaroline. It also has hyaluronic acid and Matrixel 3000. But the questions I get is how much I use. Well, this one I've dated. It's 315.20. I went back to look on my orders. To, I, the last time when somebody asked me how long it lasted, I thought it was about a year, but I always try to keep a backup. When something, when I open one thing, I buy a backup. So I'm going to know exactly how long this lasts, but I'm going to show you how you can use one drop in all the areas that I use. I'm going to put one drop right there. I take my finger and put it down here. Just dab it in, and I hope it looks wet on TV, and I hope it looks wet right there. And with then there's still quite a bit left, and I just put it in these areas right here, and then I pat it in, and one drop does cover the areas that I want to. And I don't use this after derma rolling. I've just gotten in the habit of the plain Matrixel 3000, but I wanted to answer those questions for you. And it's still wet. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is still wet on my face. The company did send me the first one. I requested it from the company. But in everything that I use, if, if the company sends me the first one, I always buy my own. With the exception of Timeless, I have never received an item from Timeless. I have They've sent me something, but I gave it to you. It's Anyway, we'll just go on to the next topic. Now I want to talk about how I assess my skin. Every morning when I wake up, I feel my face. I want it to feel normal. I don't want it to feel dry. I don't want it to feel oily. 
That's the first thing I do in my assessment is I feel my skin. The second thing I do after I, I go into the bathroom, I get a cheap nubby washcloth and I go over my face. And then I go into my dressing room and I brought this out to show you. This is the Floxite 15 times magnification mirror. And I don't know if I can show you. It's six and a half inches in diameter and it has a light here. I bought mine over 13 years ago. And you can replace the bulbs and I had to replace a bulb once. I ordered mine from Bed Bath & Beyond. There were four high school friends and we all went to one of our friends vacation home in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And she had one of these. And I tell you what, after I looked in it, I knew I had to have one. It's not anything that you use to put on your makeup, but I tell you what, you can really assess your skin. This is 15 times magnification, so it is 50% stronger than a 10 times magnification mirror. Well, when I really want to assess my skin, I want to see it. There's 20 times magnification mirrors, but I've tried those and they are so distorted. When I assess my skin, a lot of times I don't turn on the light. It depends on what time, you know, how the sun is coming out. And I think since I'm an RN, I have really good assessing, I have really good assessment skills. So I will look at my skin in the morning just to see how it's doing. Where this has come in handy, for several years, I just used Retin-A at night and that was all. Didn't use anything else. Then I decided I needed more and I started using an eye cream. And the one I started using was from Timeless. It's the hydrating eye cream. Well, I use this absolutely every single night and I used it for probably two years at night and I decided I needed something else. So the first thing I tried was the It's Secret Sauce. So the first time I used it, I used it on both eyes for like five nights in a row. And then I used it for one on one eye five nights in a row. And I just would look at my eyes to see if they, it made any difference. And this wasn't enough. And I still use the hydrating eye cream on my eyes every night and on my lids. And within the last year, I've added the It Cosmetics Confidence in an eye cream. I don't know if this is, I'm gonna finish this up, but it's not doing what I had anticipated that it would do. I'm patient, I'm gonna keep using it, but but I may switch it up. I may use my my Bye Bye Under Eye. This is what I use in the morning and I can tell a big difference. So what I'll probably do is I'm gonna probably use this on one eye for five nights and have this on the other because both of my eyes are about the same in the amount of wrinkles. So I just kinda, that's how I do things. I try something and I keep looking in the mirror. I feel my face and then I see how my makeup looks on over my skin and that that does tell me a lot i'm going to put in a couple of pictures as i'm talking i found one from 2010 and one from 2014. the one from 2010 i probably weigh 30 pounds more in that photo than i do now and the one from 2014 i probably weigh about the same i had to really look hard to find the photos so i could, i know even when i smile really big that my wrinkles aren't as bad as they were six years ago. And when I get when I get big wrinkles, I'm fine. I don't think I look young for my age. I think my skin looks good for being 66 years old. That's what I think. And it's not DNA because I don't know where my DNA was 15 years ago. It's just having a routine, whether you like it or not, and just keep doing it. And And I think it's exciting that skin can actually get better. In the beginning of April, I placed an order to um, on Amazon and I ordered the new Timeless Vitamin C Plus E Plus Frulic Acid. I opened it April 13th and so far so good. The packaging hasn't leaked and one pump will do my whole face. So I'm going to see how long this lasts. I, you can't read anything on the packaging. I don't like that. I just have to wait and see, but I do like the delivery system. And the reason I ordered it on Amazon is it was $18. I always have a 25% off coupon code in my links below. And it was less expensive on Amazon than it was using my own link. And I only needed one thing. So I missed out on the Mother's Day sale because I 
did not need anything. I've got everything that I need. I'll, I'll need another one of these, but um, I think I've got everything I need for the rest of the year. And since we're speaking about Timeless, I want to announce this is going to be a giveaway. I contacted Timeless to see if they would be interested in giving away to two people their Mother's Day gift box. And I'm going to show you a picture of that. Some of the items in there I haven't tried, but I probably need to at some point. But it has the 20% vitamin C plus E plus ferulic acid, coenzyme Q10 serum, vitamin B serum, hyaluronic acid, and the squalene oil. So two of you are going to win this. Before I talk about how to enter, I want to announce the winner of last week's giveaway and I'm filming this on Monday so I will have this filmed and on Wednesday is when I close my giveaway and I put up the winner but before I so I haven't even chosen any names yet I haven't done random comment picker but I decided after reading the comments what I was going to do is I'm going to keep my points and the winner is going to receive a $125 e-gift card to anywhere they want. Well, it's Wednesday and I just went to Random Comment Picker and I have the winner for my giveaway. I did want to tell you, I had mentioned that we were going to be getting a Dollar Tree. It's not a Dollar Tree. It's a family dollar. So in our little town, we'll have a family dollar and a Dollar General store. And also, I wanted you to know, I did not derma roll the Sunday night before I filmed this on last Monday because that was the first Sunday of the month. And I didn't want to derma roll the night before because your face is a little bit more swollen the next day. And I just wanted you to see what my skin looked like. And now the important thing, the winner of the $125 either gift card, PayPal, whatever you choose is Della Heal or Heil. I'm not sure. But congratulations, Della. Congratulations to the lucky winner. Just make sure you leave a comment below so I can let you know how to get in touch with me and we can decide what kind of e-gift card or if you want a PayPal deposit, we'll work out whatever it is that you want. So, okay, this is another giveaway. So I won't be able to reply to comments, anybody that's entering the giveaway. And I think it's a really nice, and I think it's a really nice giveaway. It's international. Uh, you just have to be subscribed to this channel before it goes live. Um, you have to be 18 years old or older. And this giveaway will close in three days. It closes on Wednesday morning. I go in and I put closed on it. So I know that you want to be in this giveaway. In the comment section below, just tell me something you like about the month of May. I love, we have beautiful dogwood trees. It is it's beautiful around here. That's my favorite thing about May. And I tell you, it's going to be a long one. Illinois is still shelter in place through the end of May. And um, it's become very, very interesting. I want to thank you all for watching, for commenting, for giving me the thumbs up. I appreciate your support more now than ever. Because it hasn't been the easiest to sit down and film videos. It hasn't been for me. But I put on some clothes and one, there's some things I wanted to talk about, some questions that I needed to answer. And anyway, it is all good. You take care and I will see you in my next video. But history of my, um, or like, um, I, but I'm, well, you know, it's just being, just tell me something you like about May.